Necessity is the mother of invention, so let's today in this video take a look at the amazing inventions that were a mistake. These inventions totally changed the world in a big way. For the first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to hit that bell icon to receive updates for future videos. Number 1. The Slinky was supposed to hold equipment on naval ships. A naval engineer by the name of Richard James was working to create a meter to monitor the horsepower output of ships during World War II, when one of the springs used to stabilize the meter fell off the table and continued to walk away. The idea to make a children's toy out of the wandering spring came to him almost immediately, and in 1945 his first Slinky was complete. Number 2. Coca-Cola was supposed to be a medical remedy. While serving as Lieutenant Colonel John Pemberton was wounded, he got addicted to the morphine used to ease the pain. He began experimenting with coca and coca wines from opium-free alternatives, eventually creating his own version of Vin Mariani, containing cola nut and damiana. Relying on Atlanta druggist Willis Venable to test and help him perfect the recipes for the beverage, which he formulated by trial and error, it eventually included blending the base syrup with with carbonated water by accident when trying to make another glass. Pemberton decided to sell it as a fountain drink rather than a medicine. Number 3. Potato chips were the result of an angry chef. You can thank one picky, dissatisfied customer in Saratoga Springs, New York, for the invention of this glorious snack food. In 1853, after a customer repeatedly sent his order of fried potatoes back to the waiter, complaining that they were too soggy and thick, the New York restaurant chef, George Crumb, was fed up, and so he took the request for a thinner potato, quite literally, cutting potatoes into thin slices, frying them, and covering them in salt. Behold, Saratoga chips. Number 4. Champagne was bottled wine that didn't ferment properly. Who can actually take credit for originally inventing champagne has always been a topic of debates, but it might actually have been just the weather. The climate was changing significantly during the 1490s, which had a dramatic effect on wine fermentation. Rather than the grape juice completely fermenting, the drop in weather caused the yeast to stop working too early and remain dormant until spring, when a second round of fermentation would take place. This gap ultimately led to the formation of carbon dioxide in wine, or as we know it, the bubbles. Number 5. Artificial sweetener was discovered by a chemist who didn't wash his hands. Perhaps one of the only times not washing your hands led to something useful. In 1879, after a long day of working with Coltar, chemist Konstantin Felberg came home to have dinner with his wife without washing his hands first. While eating his meal, Felberg noticed that everything he put in his mouth had a very sweet taste, and discovered that the saccharin on his hands was responsible. Number 6. Chewing gum was supposed to be a natural latex. Overwhelmed with frustration that his attempts to create a rubber replacement out of natural latex was unsuccessful, Thomas Adams put a piece in his mouth and noticed the flexible material was surprisingly very enjoyable to chew on. He began adding flavors and by 1888, the name chewing gum was coined. Number 7. Chocolate chip cookies were a dessert recipe gone wrong. Never has a baking recipe gone so wrong, but so right. In 1930, Toll House in Coona Roof Graves, Wakefield of Whitman, Mass, was baking a chocolate dessert when she apparently ran out of her regular used chocolate and had to dump in Nestle semi-sweet chocolate chips instead. The chips did not melt as planned, but Wakefield's disappointment did not last for long. In 1939, Nestle introduced Nestle Toll House Real semi-sweet chocolate morsels. Number 8. Popsicles were supposed to be a soda pop. In 1905, Frank Epperson, then 11, was experimenting with different ways of making homemade soda pop, when he accidentally left a batch sitting outside with a stir stick left in it. Temperatures dropped overnight and the next morning, he went outside to find the surprise frozen treat. Number 9. Post-it Notes In 1968, scientist Spencer Silver at the 3M Company created a very weak adhesive sheet that would peel off when removed from any surface. The funny thing was that he was in fact trying to create a super strong adhesive, no one thought there was any use for such a product. Until another scientist, Art Fry, realized that the little pieces of paper made great bookmarks for his church songs, without leaving residue on the page. 
Number 10, X-ray images. On November 8th, 1895, German physics professor Wilhelm Rotken stumbled on X-rays. Rotken was investigating cathode rays using a fluorescent screen painted with barium, platino cyanide, and a Crookes tube which he had wrapped in black cardboard so the visible light from the tube would not interfere. He noticed a faint green glow from the screen about a one meter away. Rotken realized some invisible rays coming from the tube were passing through the cardboard to make the screen glow. He found they could also pass through books and papers on his desk. Rotgen threw himself into investigating these unknown rays systematically. Two months after his initial discovery, he published his paper. Rotgen discovered its medical use when he made a picture of his wife's hand on a photographic plate formed due to x-rays. The photograph of his wife's hand was the first photograph of a human body part using x-rays. Number 11, plastics. Can you imagine carrying water bottles made of clay or using disposable utensils made of eggs? The legend of the discovery of plastic says that were it not for two mistakes, those might be materials we'd be stuck with today. The first tale starts in the lab of Charles Goodyear, who combined rubber and sulfur and mistakenly put it on the stove for a period of time. When he came back, he found a tough and durable material created through a process eventually called vulcanation. By 1872, his brother Isaiah coined the term celluloid to describe what was becoming the first commercially successful plastic, even used in the first motion picture film used by George Eastman. Number 12, Pacemaker. Wilson Great Batch made a classic dumb move, pulling the wrong part out of a box of equipment. It was a major act of numb scullery that became a major part of saving millions of lives. In 1956, Great Batch was working on building a heart rhythm recording device. He reached into a box and pulled out a resistor of the wrong size and plugged it into the circuit. When he installed it, he recognized the rhythm, lub dub sound of the human heart. Great Batch's implantable device of just two cubic inches forever changed life expectancy in the world. Now, more than half a million of the devices are implanted every year. Number 13, Penicillin. Ironically, Fleming was searching for a medicine that could cure diseases. However, it wasn't until Fleming threw away his experiments that he found what he was looking for. The invention was created when Fleming noticed that a contaminated petri dish he had discarded contained a mold that was dissolving all the bacteria around it. When he grew the mold by itself, he learned that it contained a powerful antibiotic penicillin. Number 14, Scotchgard. Sherman was assigned to work on a project to develop a rubber material that would not deteriorate from exposure to jet aircraft fuels. She mistakenly dropped the mixture she was experimenting with on her shoe. While the rest of her shoe became dirty and stained, one spot remained bright and clean. She retraced her steps and identified the stain-resistant compound known today as Scotchgard. Number 15, Cornflakes. The brothers were trying to make a pot of boiled grain but mistakenly left a pot of boiled grain on the stove for several days. The mixture turned moldy but the product that emerged was dry and thick. Through experimentation they eliminated the mold part and created cornflakes. Number 16, Inkjet Printer. Printing important documents seems so simple, however, it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't an engineer's mistake. A report by Story Pick stated that an engineer who worked with Cannon mistakenly rested his hot iron on his pen. Later, the engineer got to the part where the ink was ejected from the pen's point. It further turned into a new principle resulted in the invention of the inkjet printer. So, that's all for the video. So the next time you fail, think again. What can you possibly invent from that? Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like it. Thank you for watching.